Assalamualaikum everyone, welcome back to Exclusive Models. Hope you have a wonderful day. Today's episode is going to be done also called Two Pieces Abaya Dress with a ring stone at the chest line. The fabric I'll be using is a creme fabric. I'm using four and a half of this fabric to cut it out. For those people watching for the first time, I really appreciate you guys for stopping by. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and also on your notification bell so that whenever I upload any tutorial, you'll be notified. So let's go to the cutting section. So this is now into four. I cut out two and a half yards of this fabric for the body. No, I am saying I'm using it's four and a half yards. So I'm cutting out two and a half yards of this fabric for the body. So this is cut together with the sleeve. I'm going to take a stiff length from the from the center here. The stiff length that I need is 30 inches. I'm getting 22 inches here. To make a complete sleeve length, I'll be adding 8 inches length to it to make a complete sleeve length. So the first thing I'll be taking here is shoulder slant of 1 inch. I'm taking it here. Then I'll be slanting it up to the center of back and front. As you can see, you can see it. The next thing that I'll be taking here is the ammo. This ammo is not going to be a usual ammo because it's cut together with the sleeve, so it must be free. So I'm using eight and a half inches for the ammo. You know, eight and a half here. Yeah, is going to be nine and a half because we have deducted one inch for the shoulder slant here. The shoulder slope. So it's going to be nine and a half here. So it's going to be nine and a half here. So I'm connecting the two together, the line to make a straight line. So you can see, you can see the line, the ammo line now. So this particular dress is not fitted at all. So I'll be using the normal bust measurement for this, for the honor of this dress is 36 inches, that's 9 in 4 places, it's going to give us 36 inches. So after that 9 inches for the bust, the actual bust measurement, I'll be adding 6 inches to it because this is not fitted at all. 6 inches you can see so it's from this 6 inches I'm going to slant down to the length of the dress so the length of the dress here is 59 inches with the seam allowance you can see this is 59 inches with the seam allowance so that is the whole fabric the length of the fabric you can see so the next thing is to slant it down to the length of the dress. Just slant it down to the length of the dress. You can see the way I'm going to slant it now. So by the time I'm cutting it out, I'm still going to slant my hand properly. You can see now. You can see. It's a slant line to the full length. So the nice thing here is to cut it out. I'm starting from here. So, this edge, I'm going to take it up with 2 inches so that the edge here will not be touching the floor. Then from here, I'm going to connect it to the center of the dress. The center of both black, both back and front. 
ठीक है ऐसे सो वी आर डन विद द कटिंग ऑफ द बॉडी नाउ फॉर दिस पार्टिकुलर स्टाइल द नेक लाइन will be wide enough for the head to be able to enter because there is not going to be a zip or a slit that button will be will be there making the wideness of 3.5 inches and the deepness of 2 inches for the back then i'll be making is of 3.5 inches for the front You can see. Just to give me the perfect neckline, I'll be making use of my hammock. You can see for the back. Front. you can see this is the back and this is the front so to complete the sleeve length let me cut out a straight cut so this is to complete the sleeve and there's going to be a folding here because there's an el elastic over here you can see to complete the length of the sleeve so this is the wideness of the of the veil This is 31.5 inches. Is with the seam allowance. Then, and for the length of the veil, I'm using 17 inches. So the the length of the veil is 172 centimeter long. You can see. You can make it longer. It depends on how you want your veil to be. It can be longer, so I'll be able to wrap it very well. So this is 172 centimeter long and is 70. inches long the length is 70 inches you can see this is 70 inches in inches is 70 inches in centimeter is 172 centimeter long so the wideness is 31.5 long and is 80 centimeter long. so we're going to take the center of the fade now by folding it into two because it has a cap also it has a tiny cap This is the center here. We are going to notch the center. The same thing applicable to the neckline. When you join the two shoulder finish, you are going to notch the center. So I will be doing that when I'm showing it, and I'm going to show it to you. This is the center of the veil now. So we're going to cut out the cap. This cap is like a belt to tie to the back of the head, like this. You can see. Then we're going to notch the center as well. I'm notching the center like this. So the length of this cap now is four inches, as you can see. Then by the time I stitch it, it is going to turn to three point five inches wideness. You can see it now. So this is not this cap. So the way I'm going to join everything, I'm going to show it to you, and the way to style it.
after joining all the cuttings together this is a buyer with wood scarf you can see this is the scarf you can see one is longer than the other you can make it equal if you like and this is the cap you can see the cap so this is how to wear it you're going to tie it to the back like this You can see it now. After tying it to the back, you can see it. Then the next thing is to hold your scarf this way. Then you take this to the back and also this. You cannot see the front. I make some of your stone just to do the beautification of the front and the sleeve side and also the cap area. You can see this is not the front now, and this is the back. You can see it. You can see how beautiful this is the cutting and the stitching. That is it's not that hard. If you're watching for the first time, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate you for watching me. And for those who have already subscribed to my channel, thank you for watching my video always. See my next tutorial. Assalamu alaikum.